Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnoff, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with what I'm calling a double interactive ninja card. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I saw the ninja stamp set from MFT and I had to not only color it, but make it an interactive card in two ways. So I'm gonna have two different motions going on on the card, but I'm gonna do a quick coloring of the little ninjas for you first with a few tips. So for their faces, I'm kind of going outside the lines because I'm going to cover that with dark gray. So nobody's going to see that I went out of the lines. Just add a little tiny bit of shading in there. You could even just have plain old flesh tone in there. And I'm going to use a W4 for mine. You could use the C markers, the cool grays, or any of the other grays if you'd like. But I want to make them look like they're a dark gray, but not black, not entirely black, because things that are too black tend to be too black to me. So I'm going to use a couple of grays to do this. When I color any object that's black, I never start out with a really light color. So I wouldn't start out with a zero or a one or anything like that. W4 is going to be the lightest I would go. Sometimes I'll even do it like a six for my light tone. But I didn't want to scare everybody. So we're going to do a four, a six, and an eight for the trio for this. And I will color one of these at close to normal speed-ish. I am staying away from the outside line so that I get a little bounce light. It'll give them a little bit more dimension since they are just big gray blobs. And I'm going to reserve a little bit of that outside color to be mid-tone or light color. I'm going to fussy cut mine out instead of using the dyes because I don't want the white outline around them since they're going to be interactive and I want them to look like they're actually intertwined and punching each other and kicking each other. So if you were doing what I'm doing, you could just color outside the lines. I could have done that for you, but I decided to be a little tidier since I'm here on YouTube. But if you're going to fussy cut, which these are very simple shapes to fussy cut, then you can just color outside the lines. Save yourself some effort at staying inside, but if you're going to die cut, you will need to stay inside. But look how fun that is. I'm getting that little bounce light on the very outside of the images. But I do need to smooth out some of that stuff in the middle, so I'm going to go with just a quick stroke or two of my mid-tone and go through one more time on the top and not scrub at it. If you scrub at it, you'll get that mottled, pixelated, weird thing again. And I'm going to use my C markers, my cool grays, for the detail on the outfits. I don't know if they were supposed to be a color, I don't know enough about Ninja Warriors to know that. I did look up some pictures and they really just wore all black. So I'm going to hope that having some warm and cool grays is going to work for ninjas. Because I'm, I'm clueless about that stuff. I don't have children, I don't have boys, so I really am not very helpful in deep knowledge of this. But they were so cute and so fun to color. I'm even thinking some of these might be fun to make into a mummy for Halloween. Wouldn't that be hilarious? make these little guys. So I'm going to speed up to color these other two, but I'm basically doing the very same thing, leaving that bounced light on the outside and using my warm and cool grays. And notice there's one of the little ninjas who's standing still and the other two are both kicking. The kicking ones are the ones that are going to be interactive. And I had to figure out how I was going to have them be interactive together. And I could have done them both with the same type of of interactivity on the card, but I decided I'm going to use two different ones, two different types. So stay tuned for that in just a moment after I get all of this coloring done. They're um, really fun to color. They're very simple shapes and they, I, I think for a lot of us, we have an easier time when we have large areas to color, big wide open areas rather than lots of little things. So the swing and slide set from Ellen Hudson has this particular circle die in it. And I'm going to use that as one of my interactivities. I'm going to stamp this little, I guess it's a pagoda. If it's not, someone will tell me. And then I pulled up a scene with some trees and mountains and things because I wanted to try to figure out how to make this look like it's in location. And I'm still going to speed through this because most people aren't going to try this anyway. But it, I'll give you some tips along the way for how I created this. I wanted basically some sidewalk underneath of them, some sidewalk color, because that's what I see in ninja movies. Because they tend to fight in big open areas inside of a building that have like pavement. So now I'm going to use my B6 series to do this background. And having all three colors from the same color family is going to keep all that way off in the distance and 
very soft and purpley, whereas everything else is black and white in the front. So I've got my mountains up there that I just did my flicking with, and now I'm going to do two different colors here for these trees. There was a lighter color in the picture that I was using, as well as a deeper bluish purpley kind of color for the detail trees. And I'm just doodling. I'm going to make a few of them that are going to have tree trunks, but most of them are just going to have this kind of horizontal banding to them. A lot of this will be covered up on the card and just be hinted at. You'll be able to see a little bit of it through the card, but don't stress out about it too much. I just wanted to do enough to set a scene so that when somebody looks at the card, they immediately get the idea that this is in a faraway place where ninjas live. So just doodling my little trees with my B66. And the B6 series is one that I don't see hardly anybody using it, but look how pretty these colors are. Aren't they gorgeous? So now I'm finishing off the scene on the piece of paper that is, that's going to be used as the base underneath of this, just so I have a little color under there when I get my interactivity going. Finish off my little pagoda. I looked up some of those and they're mostly black with a little red or yellow. The inside, you can make them all kinds of elaborate, but this is also going to be in the background so no one will really see it. To build my little spinner, I'm going to use circles instead of using pennies or dimes, which I've used before. Little circles of paper are going to do the same job without the thickness. And I have a double thickness of dimensional adhesive that fits inside that, that, that little round circle thing. It has to be able to spin fully 100% around and then I glued the ninja on top of that top circle. So I have that little sandwich there for him. And I'm going to use a mini action wobble. I had to use a mini for this. The large ones didn't fit. And the mini action wobbles, or even the others, to figure out which side they go on, I tend to just kind of hold one side and then hold the other and see which one bounces the way that I want my image to bounce. Because sometimes you want a lot of bounce, sometimes you want a little bounce. And so I made my decision, stuck it on the back of my Ninja Warrior, and then I can just stick him on the card in a place where he can then fight with the other ninja. And so he will bounce around, and then the other ninja can spin and tumble and leap from the air. Isn't that fun? A little crazy interactivity. For the card base I have to glue this down to, I need to have enough dimension underneath of it that that circle is going to spin. If you glued it straight down to the card, there's no room for it to move. So you also want to make sure that it goes around the circle, around that die, without hitting any adhesive, because the adhesive will stick and will it won't move. So finish building up the rest of that and then adhere it onto that card base that I had colored a little bit so it peeks through. And now we have our ninja fight going on. What fun is that? Wouldn't a little kid who loves Ninja Warriors love this card? Except I decided I was going to add eyelashes to all of the ninjas, so these are all ninja girls. Ninja girl card! Yay! Girls can be ninjas too, right? I hope so. I'm not really sure. I know there's an actress who does ninja warrior things, so I'm going to hope that it's okay to do a ninja, ninja girl card for my blog today. So I pick up this stamp set. It is cute as all get out. The sentiments are really adorable as well. Look at all that dimension and activity and scene and oh my goodness, 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 fun. So here are some more videos. You can click on my face to subscribe to my channel and there's also a Cobra class there if you're interested in checking that out. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a really awesome ninja filled day. We'll see ya. Bye bye.